In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to duplicate a Google Sheet with Google Apps Groups, much in the same way as you can do by going to File and Make a Copy. This is part of a larger tutorial on duplicating spreadsheets, Google Sheets tabs, and then ranges within Google Sheets. Each of the tutorials can be viewed on their own or part of the larger playlist. You'll get the most of this by strapping in and playing along. So go ahead and check out the link in the description below for a copy of the starter sheet, which will give you a copy of this playlist spreadsheet, which we'll use for the first four videos for this playlist. So go ahead and do that now. And once you're done, we'll come back and we'll get started in with the code. Okay, once you have your spreadsheet up, just go to extensions and app scripts, and you should see something like this. You also see a menu bar of files containing duplicate spreadsheets, duplicate sheets, duplicate sheets to SS, copy ranged sheets and globals. I'm hiding that with a bit of code at the moment so you can see more on my screen. So let's dive in. So when we go ahead and make a file, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So we go make a copy. This allows to make a copy of the file and rename it and then go what folder do we want to put this in and then hit make a copy and that will duplicate that in the folder that we have allocated. Generally, this is going to be the same folder as the source spreadsheet. Now we want to do something very similar, but we want to automate this as part of a perhaps a workflow in Google App Scripts. So let's create a function and call it duplicate spreadsheet. And we'll create two variables. The first one is our spreadsheet one, so const. Typically, that's a uh, SS shorthand. And we'll call spreadsheet app. And we can grab the spreadsheet a number of ways. One might be by uh, saying uh, open by ID, in which case we would have to get the open ID as a string here and plug that in like this. Or alternatively, we could grab the active spreadsheet. And there's two ways of doing this. One is a shorthand called get if. However, something a bit more explicit I prefer to use is using the get active spreadsheet. And here we know for certain that this is a spreadsheet that's being accessed. Awesome. So the next thing we need is const. It's another variable, and this is going to be our new spreadsheet that we're going to generate. And we'll call this new ss or new spreadsheet. And it's super simple to, to create a copy of a spreadsheet inside Google Sheets or inside the spreadsheet app. And all you need to do is say ss.copy. And what we're gonna do for our duplication here, is instead of saying copy of, copy of, copy of, which is the standard with Google Sheets, we're just gonna put an asterisk in because it's much more much shorter here, but also displays that this is a copy. So what I'll do here, I'll just put in double quotation marks and I'll put in an asterisk here. And I'll just add that or concatenate to that to a ss dot. And we're going to grab the name of the existing spreadsheet. So we're saying ss existing spreadsheet. And we'll use the get name method. Simple. Okay. Console.log. And what we want out of this console log is just so we can get the URL of the new spreadsheet that we're creating. We'll say new ss dot get URL. Done. And imagine we might be using this as part of a larger process. So you might want to consider returning this and returning the new SS to be used in another process that you have later. Totally up to you, this last line. We'll hit save here. And let's go ahead and run. Now we've got to go through our authorization. Okay, so we've now got our new shiny spreadsheet here. So I'm going to copy this link here. I'm just going to put that in a new tab over here to see it appearing. And as you can see, it's got an extra asterisk here. So we know that uh, it is a copy of the original. However, let's look at where this is. So let's go back here. Just click on move. Uh, this will give us access to the parent folder if we click open new tab here. So right now I've got uh, this video one here. This is the one we copied from, but I don't have access of this access to this asterisk one here. Where is that? Let's go to here, or we can actually see it in the hint here. It's actually in our My Drive folder. 
And honestly, why should it be in the My Drive folder? That just creates clutter. Let's just put this in the same folder as the parent. That makes sense, right? Okay, so let's uh, let's make a new function here and try and do that. So function, and we'll say duplicate again, duplicate, duplicate spreadsheet. We'll put an underscore in here to identify what we're going to do. We're going to send it to a parent folder. And we'll say const again, ss equals spreadsheet app dot get if spreadsheet. And then this time around, we're going to use the drive app API. Now the drive app API allows us to access Google Drive and see what folder the parent Google Sheet is so we can grab that Google Sheets folder or containing folder. Okay, so this time around, we're going to say const. We'll say ss. We want to grab the ss ID. Yeah, because we're grabbing the get active spreadsheet, we haven't explicitly said what ID that we want. So we're just going to grab it this way. So we'll say ss.get ID. Of course, you could also do the same thing up here with this copy method as what we're going to do here by putting it in the MyDrive file. But let's do something better. Let's get the spreadsheet file now in Google Drive, and we can do that with uh, const ss, and we'll say file here so we know it's the Google Drive file. We'll say drive app get file by ID, and that's going to be our ss ID. And now let's grab the parent folder of that file ID. So here we can go const parent folder is equal to ss file dot get parents. Now, why isn't there just a get parent? The way Google Drive works is that you can put a folder in multiple parent files. More often than not, it will just be one and then there'll be duplicates or references to that file, but there could be other locations that that file is in. So there could be more than one. And if you have set up your drive that uh, where the file could be in multiple locations, then you might want to investigate this a bit further. Let's just believe that this file is in one location here. So when we say get parents, this is going to produce a folder iterator that we can iterate through. And we just want to iterate through to the next one. There's always going to be a next, so we don't have to handle any errors for next or there not being a parent folder existing. And so we'll go next and that will give us the zeroth or the, the first uh, parent folder in that section. And then we'll say const new ss like we did before is equal to, so ss file make copy and in that make copy we're going to put our asterisks in process again plus and then ss dot get name and here we can reference the destination that's going to be the parent folder okay so let's console log this again so console dot log want the new ss get URL, and then we will return it just in case you need to work with it later. New SS. Cool bananas. We'll hit save. Okay, let's go up the top here. And once we've finished our saving magic, and we will now select this duplicate spreadsheet parent folder and hit run and see what happens. Okay, so we've got a new set of authorizations now because we've uh, explicitly went into Google Drive app. So let's review permissions. And you can see now that we are using the Google Drive here. So we'll hit allow. And our new file has been created. And let's see if we can find this in our parent folder here of our source file. Okay, so remember this one. This file here should be in this drive. We'll just give a little refresh. And there it is there. That's our new one that we created. You can see the asterisks that we've added into it. Cool. Okay, so that's the basics of copying Google Sheets and Google Drives and renaming them. In the next tutorial, we are going to duplicate the sheet tabs here within the sheet. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.